The latest season of The Handmaid's Tale featured some shocking developments for June Osborne, played by Elizabeth Moss, and her main rival Serena Joy Waterford, Yvonne Strahovski. With a Hulu series about to begin work on its sixth and final season, fans are still hoping the Gilead founder gets her comeuppance despite the finale's shocking cliffhanger. Viewers still hope Serena gets what's coming to her when The Handmaid's Tale wraps up June's story in Season 6. Though the franchise will continue in the upcoming sequel series, The Testaments, the next outing of the mainline drama will be the last time fans catch up with the current cast. In the stunning finale, Safe. June and her husband Luke Benkel, Ot Fagbanel, embark on a train to Vancouver to fly to Alaska when their plans to move to Hawaii are scuppered. However, once on board, June realizes Serena and her new baby Noah are traveling with them. The two women appear to be on better terms, but the credits rolled on season 5 before revealing how the rest of the trip will play out. Although fans are hoping for a smooth ride for June and her family, the same can't be said for Serena after she caused the former handmaid so much pain over the years. In a recent post on Reddit, user Malimac123 predicted, I would hate to see Serena becoming a good person. I feel like her character has always been bad and always will be. Throughout the earlier seasons of The Handmaid's Tale, Serena and her husband Fred Waterford, Joseph Fiennes, kept June prisoner as their concubine and frequently physically assaulted her. Although her feelings for June somewhat softened in season 5, Serena clearly still believes in Gilead's mandate to restrict the rights of fertile women. Fans have since been left debating whether Serena will see the error of her ways or if June will take her revenge as she and the handmaids did against Fred at the end of season 4. I don't want to see any sympathy or special treatment towards Serena, Pelly Grossipi Stola agreed. She's earned her karma and deserves to suffer every last bit of it. Backlash, latest interview, just because she had a baby in a barn after rejecting amnesty in Canada and was deported by Gilead does not erase her role in the enslavement and sexual assault of millions of women. Sick, Bellum Condelila added, I agree with everything that was said. I don't want redemption for Serena or Aunt Lydia, and doubt, I want punishment. I want to see Gilead fall and the trials for crimes against humanity. Tucker underscore 077 replied, I don't want redemption for Serena. She is a terrible person. Giving birth and being told to go to her room once doesn't change what she's done and continues to do. Although useful underscore rise underscore 5334 reasoned, I would love to see Serena meet some sane people in a new environment and from that learn just how far off base her mind is. And Little Greyfish argued, I wouldn't mind a redemption of Serena. But it can't just be whoops I realize I was wrong. A change of heart alone isn't a redemption. She would need to put herself on the line and show through her actions that she has changed. Fans are clearly split on how they want Serena's journey to end, though it's clear her redemption won't come easy if it ever comes at all. The Handmaid's Tale seasons 1 to 5 are available to stream on Prime Video and Channel 4, 